Fuck yeah, Demon Souls. Oh boy. Let's get this shit started. Alright. So, um, I'm looking forward to this. Also, yeah, um, I did a thing. Um, I was gonna say I'm less lazy, but no, I've definitely put this in the description. It'll be a link to, on the Demon Souls uh, Reddit, there's how to connect to the private server. So, it's pretty fucking sick. So, because I'm in Australia, that, uh, that constitutes as Europe. Hmm. Something, something colonization. I don't fucking know. But as you can see, a few people online. Hey, people. Not heaps. We're probably never going to run into anyone. Um, if that one person stays in Stone Fang, we might meet him towards the end of this session. So, yeah. Okay, I wanted to explain a bit more before we started, but fuck it, we kind of got thrown into that. Alright, so, I had a great time trying to fucking record this. So, yesterday I did two recording sessions as a bit of a test. The first one, um, about an hour, uh, something weird happened when it exported and El the Elgato program kind of like, soft crashed. It, um... It saved the video, but um, apparently it made it 30 gigs, and when I can when I put it in shortcut with the audio, uh, it was totally out of fucking sync by the end. So that, yeah, that's great. Um, then I did another test later, and it was fine. Uh, so I don't know. I I only did the test because I know this well the PS3 is notoriously fucky. Uh, with capture software. Oh, oh, and by the way, I should explain. For people that have any idea of how this shit works, you'd know you can't capture the PS3 with an Elgato. Which is true. So uh, I bought an HDMI splitter last year, about a year ago. Oh, voice crack, that was weird. About the time I got the collector's edition for Damon X Machina, a game I didn't play enough of, but I'll get back to one day. Um, so it lets me record Demon Souls by tricking the signal. So the PS3 is unaware that I'm recording it. Um, I have noticed the recording looks a little darker than my TV, which is the inverse. So that shit doesn't look good, I apologise. For, um, for the bits we're gonna do today, it's not that big a deal. I'll fix the brightness if need be. Anyway, that's enough of this shit. Alright, welcome to Proto Dark Souls. This is some, this is some cool shit. So, first and foremost, yeah, um... We'll edit our appearance, I guess. Then we'll go for the classes. Honestly, um, yeah, I think you, uh, I think you understand the gist of this. I mean, that, that's not horrible. Ah, <sighs> fucking god, this game, man. This, this game is uh something. All right, it's got all the classic sliders you know and love from Souls games. So as for here, spiked. The Bobcat, also known as the Confident Beta. Um, I, I've been watching some Adam Barker videos of late. I'm finally catching up on all the shit I should have been watching. Ah, uh, wavy, probably what we're going with. Wild, ponytail, shaved. We'll go for wild. Wait, no, wavy. What am I saying? Blonde, grey, white, dark brown, red. Yeah, it's um quite the selection. So you've got these sliders like, you know, like Dark Souls and Bloodborne, but it's still kind of not great. So honestly, like, there's no point really fixing this up. We're fine. Maybe, maybe we'll make the nose a little smaller. That doesn't totally fix it. Holy shit. Um, yeah. Um, for people that don't know, yeah, uh, these games have always had bad character creators. They've never been good. I have fucked up this character. Oh my god. Alright, fuck it. Random. Oh god. Oh no. What have I done? Oh no. I shouldn't have tampered with the nose. Yeah, that looks alright. It looks a little stoned. Oh Christ. Oh, this is how I wanted this LP to start. Holy fuck. Oh, speaking of which, yeah, um, two things I should mention. I know this seems awfully close to, uh, the end of Twilight Princess LP. But keep in mind, I recorded that shit 
uh, over the course of May to June. From like about middle of May to like early early June. Uh, yeah, sure, that's our hero. What? No, fuck, that's not our hero at all. Um, second of all, I forgot what I was going to say. Holy fuck, this is, um, yeah, this guy made me forget. I apologize. What the hell was I going to say? Um, oh yeah, that's right. Um, I'm pretty confident I'm going to be doing this, so, sorry, I'm just cycling through the faces trying to get one that's not horrific. Yeah, um, <laughs> that's getting close. Uh, but yeah, looking at this video, you should notice it is a lot shorter than, well, the hour, hour and a half slabs I am normally uploading. Because I decided, fuck it, with this game I'm putting in the effort, I'll cut them up, try to make them decent. Fucking Christ. Oh, these are, these are... Normally I get pretty lucky. <sighs> I mean, the faces doesn't matter. Don't, like, they really don't matter, period. Okay, let's go to default. Fuck this. Yeah, default's a champ. Oh, while we're at a default, I should show. So that's east. That's south. That's north. Yeah, again, they've never been good with character creators, guys. They've just never been good. Sure, that's possible. Alright. One thing I'll mention, and um, anyone who knows this game knows this already, so it'll be interesting to see if they keep this in the, full, in the uh, remake. So, I'm going to talk about that, don't worry. Um, but some armor is locked to your uh, gender. Oh Christ, no, we're not going to do that. We finally got a face I'm happy with. So there's... I looked at it last night. There's five sets that only guys can wear and four sets only um, females can wear. So, it's not that big a deal. One of the uh, female sets, I think, is one of the best armor sets in the game in terms of, like, stats. But there's a really good one only the males get, too. Um, that's the one Gun Deer's based off from DS3. Anyway... That's enough of that shit, how about we actually go for the classes? So, you'll notice that like DS3, luck is a thing. Um, I guess it's a little bit of a DS3 luck, because it at least, well, it does a little more than DS3 luck, I think. Uh, well, it feels less wasted. Luck in DS3 is that weird shit where it's like, unless you're going a status build or a holo build, it does nothing for so long. And it just sits there, a waste of points. Oh, it's so fucking infuriating. It's such a shame. Like, you don't even get passive stats until, like, you level it up a ton. I think you gotta get to, like, 15 before it even bumps up your curse resist. But here, it boosts your plague resist. Plague is toxic, but even fucking worse. So, I don't mind having extra luck. Um, anyway, that's enough of that shit. Boy, I wish, fucking, I hope Elden Ring does that thing with the DS2 did, where you get a little bit of health no matter your level. Because that makes it feel better when you waste points. Anyway, classes. Soldier. I think you can uh, guess this pretty well. Um, good health. Yeah, vitality in this game. Yeah, this is the old shit. Vitality is health. Intelligence is attunement. Endurance is what you think it is. It's Dark Souls 1, um, endurance. Strength and Dex, normal shit. Apparently, strength is 50% when you two hand. Um, that's what it, a tip said in the game. I can't remember for certain. Magic is your int from Dark Souls, so magic damage. Um, faith is different. Faith works like its own attunement for miracles and a damage stat. And luck is what I just spent that 30 seconds or 40 seconds having a tirade on. So, Soldier's pretty alright. I'm probably going for Knight, because when I, um, when I did my practice runs, I killed, I managed to kill the first boss, and I mean the literal first boss, anyone that knows this game, as the Knight and as the Temple Knight. When I tried Soldier, I fucking died. And you'll see why. I don't, I'm not expecting to do it this time. So, Knight is probably the best, the most well-rounded Luck is not great, but who cares? You, you're also at a lower level than soldiers, so that's fine. Oh, excuse me. And you get at least one um, one spell by default. Alrighty, Hunter. 
it is what you think it is. Pretty good for quality, starts with a bow. Leather shield's pretty alright for pairing. Priest is Dark Souls Priest. I think you can uh, tell that from there. The good thing is, with, um, with how your spells work in this game, there's a lot of good utility spells, so you'll want them even on a priest, like cloak and warding and shit. Magician is your Dark Souls, um, well, you know, why am I blanking on the start of class? Sorcerer. Christ, it's too early. So he starts with, um, he's got Fireball, uh, and, um, Water Veil, which, um, boosts your fire resist. Wanderer is, well, the Wanderer from Dark Souls 1. Pretty alright. He's only got two pieces of armor though, so you want to dodge. Barbarian, well, kind of the closest to Deprived, but not really. Um, no armor at all. Best health. It's a fucking strength build. It's magic's really high though, and I don't know why, but I'm not complaining, I like strength in builds. Thief is what you expect. Dark Souls 3 Thief. Good luck, good decks. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Temple Knight. Now, I'd like to go Temple Knight, except I don't like these stats. I do, however, like what he's holding. My favourite weapon class in all these games. Halberd's fucking rock. Oh, I should just go back. Thief also has a short bow. Uh, he's got a buckler and a dagger, as you can see. Barber's club and, uh... Slave shield, which is kind of shit, but that's fine. Wanderer's got... I think... Is that the falchion? Or is it the scimitar? It's not the killage. I like the killage a lot. Um, and that should be short sword and leather shield. Like what the other guy has. Oh yeah, priest... The mace is good in this game. 2.5, it's half the weight of Dark Souls 3. And he's got the heater shield. Same with Temple Knight, which is fucking rad. Also, his armor's heavy as shit, but yeah, I'd love to go it, but fuck the stats, but goddamn that halberd. Royalty. Easy mode, effectively. You start off with Soul Arrow, your um, little headpiece, Silver Coronet, gives you a little bit more MP to start. That's pretty cool. Um, soul arrow, so you can just snipe like a fuck. I've beaten Vanguard with this guy the once or twice I've played the class, but it's 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 easy, so fuck that. We're going night. The only annoying part is I can get this armor pretty early if I really want to. Oh yeah, we well need a name, of course. Oh shit. <laughs> oh boy, I'm looking forward to this. Fuck, I hate this so much. Oh no. Um, I don't even know how the names work with the online servers because unlike my um, normal PSN, which, well, you know, barren for the lag if it wasn't fucking obvious by now. Um, oh shit. Uh, that last part's easy. It's just Nick because, well, I wasn't expecting to ever play for PS3 online. We got it off a friend, I mentioned this ages ago, we got it off a family friend many moons ago. Hard drive corrupted and shit. And then what? And then I decided to buy Demon Souls on it, so that's fine. So it has a purpose. Anyway, that was about 10 minutes in character creation. And not even in a good, like, Plague of Cri uh, Gripes way. The 12th, by channeling the power of souls, brought unprecedented prosperity to his northern kingdom of Boletaria. That is until the colorless deep fog swept across the land. Boletaria was cut off from the outside world, and those who dared penetrate the deep fog never returned. But Valarfax of the royal twin fangs broke free from the fog and told the world of Boletaria's plight. That the old king Alant had aroused the old one, the great beast below the nexus, from its eternal slumber, and that a colorless fog had swept in, unleashing terrible demons. The demons hunt down men and claim their souls. Those who lose their souls also lose their minds. The mad attack the sane, 
and chaos reigns. Valorfax spoke of the enticing power of the demon souls. Each time a demon claims a human soul, the demon's own soul is invigorated by the life force, and the power of a mature demon soul is beyond human imagination. The legend spread quickly. Mighty warriors were drawn to the accursed land, but none have returned. Bjor of the Twin Fangs, Yurt the Silent Chief, Sage Urbane, Skurber the Wanderer, the Sixth Saint Astraea and her knight Garo Vinland, and Sage Frake the Visionary. The colorless deep fog slowly creeps beyond Boletaria's borders. Humankind faces a slow and steady extinction. The deep fog will eventually swallow all lands near and far. But Boletaria has one final hope. A lone warrior who has braved the baneful fog. Has the land found its savior? Or have the demons found a new slave? Yeah, I decided to shut up for that. Um, yes, we would like to play the journey to the Nexus. This is our tutorial. So yeah, I wanted to, wanted to shut up to give that, like, for you guys a chance to actually hear that. Um, it's still got that Dark Souls charm to it, in terms of, like, Western fantasy, but with a weird twist to it, but in places it definitely looks more typical, I'd say. Um, oh yeah, that lone warrior is us. Fears, not death. I shall guide you. We are box art, man, so this seems quite fitting. So that you may lull the old one back to slumber. Okay, welcome to the tutorial. This is that place they've been showing off in the screenshots. Um, I'll go through that in a sec. Yeah, I'll just uh, accept, I'll make sure you guys see this. We start heavy as fuck. So yeah, this is this is the shot right here, just about, that they're showing for all the remake comparisons. Okay, now this game isn't a looker. But there's a reason people talk about atmosphere. It'll become even more apparent as the game goes on. So while we're at it, let's talk about this shit. So first of all, you're going to notice some weird shit. Pretty standard knight stuff. We've got a kite shield, long sword, mail breaker, and we got the fluted set. Which is box art man. Um, okay, over here. Expendable items. Grass is your healing. Unlike Estus, there is no limit, except for your weight. Which is the thing everyone forgets when they talk about how unbalanced it is. Like, it's still a pretty broken system, but it does balance it a little more than people think. Royal Lotus. I don't know why I said that's so weird. Poison. We don't need that right now. The weird shit I was talking about is over there. Okay. I was hoping I could do that stat thing, but... I guess we can't. Here we go. Um, Alright, so you'll notice that each of these has this weird icon. That makes this shit real fun. When you go back to this, you check your weapon, and when you check your weapon's damage type, you better know what these fucking icons mean. You better understand. So longsword um, on the left does standard, and on the far right does thrust. The mail breaker is only thrust. So you have to learn these little icons. It's not too bad. You get used to it. Also, we're heavy as fuck. Um, anyone who's played Dark Souls 1, you'll remember that uh, fat roll was 15% and over. Well, guess what? Yep, there we go. 
So get used to this for a bit. I've tested it. This is the best weight ratio you can manage right now. Alright. Come on, Driggling. Yeah, so main thing. These are Drigglings, not Hollows. Oh boy, this is uh, making this game look great. Alright, fuck it. R1. And your R2. I, I really like this animation, actually. Oh, fuck. Get out of the way, Pillar. You son of a bitch. Alright, R2. I really like the animations. I don't know if they... They're, I'll try that again. I don't know if they're more realistic than Dark Souls, but... I do like them. Alrighty. I'll read these, by the way. Standard attack. Yeah, so something I noticed, I'd never really paid attention to it, but... As you can see, nice blue sky. Get shitty the more you go this way. Which, well... That's thematic, alright. So... Yeah, well, we are familiar with this mechanic, alright. Ah, oh, fuck it. I'm not gonna really have to dodge for a few minutes, so let's just wear the fluted shit. Better to tank some damage with. Guarding? Well, we figured, that, we figured that out. Alrighty. Let's show the mail breaker. So, it's majority of thrusting weapons. While you're blocking, you can do your little shield stab. Unlike DS3, it's, uh, it's not weird and shitty, but I guess that's a way of balancing it. Yeah, there's, a, there's actually quite a bit of color in this game, more than people realize. It's that same thing that happened with Dark Souls 1 and 2, where even though it's a depressing, fucked world, you know, there's some niceness to it. It's not Dark Souls 3. DS3, you know, there's a thematic reason the colors are so washed out, but... Uh, it, it wears thin when you've played it like a hundred times like I have. That's not even hyperbole. <laughs> yes, I said it as hyperbole. I don't even fucking know if it's hyperbole at this point. I forget. I don't even care. Oh yeah, I should show off that. So instead of your kick. It's kind of like a Dark Souls 2 guard break. And we've got, uh, we got, we got Mumra down here. Huh, locked. Hmm, weird. Hey. Hey, buddy. Come on. Come here. Come here, dude. So, this will sound weird. Um, as people who played these games would know, there is some weird collision shit that occurs with enemy attacks and walls. Now, I was getting into, I was going to get into this anyway. I have played this game the least. I've had the least amount of that kind of shit happening. Contrary to what people say, I have had way more enemies hit me in weird ways in Dark Souls 3 than 2. I mean, ignoring like, I'm not talking about, oh, this knight's hurt box on the sword is bigger than it should be. I'm talking about, I got slammed through a fucking wall. This game doesn't seem to have those problems, which is weird because it's the first. Um, hey, that's where we were going to fight off in the cards, I guess. <laughs> Uh, that would have been a cool arena. If you're confused, just look up, um... Uh, just look up Lance. Man fight dragon. He has some good shit. Why am I forgetting the surname? Fuck it. God damn it. He has some good shit, though. All the, uh, Bloodborne and Dark Souls in Sekiro as well. Cut content. Oh, Demon Souls too. We did a very good video on this. On V level, they got cut. Which people will know that... Well, actually, what I'm saying, people are clamoring for in the remake. Land of the Giants, Northern Limits. I don't know if we're going to get it. I'm not that fast. The game's pretty complete enough as is. So, there's nothing really here, but I'll show off the area proper so people, you know, the four people, apparently that's a bit generous. The two people, based on Zelda, that are watching this, um, can see there's not a lot going on. It's uh, pretty empty. But this is the tutorial area, and we don't come back here once we're done. I'll show this. The way this is set up though makes me feel like maybe at one point this was going to be part of a proper level. But I don't know. So, archstones are the bonfires. But not really. They're more like the lanterns in De uh, what am I saying? Yeah, in Demon Souls 2. Bloodborne. This is weird though. I can't remember if this is the case. 
But this archstone, when you warp, heals you. I can't remember if when you warp back to the Nexus being your Firelink stand-in, or Hunter's Dream, rather, if you if you get healed, you, you get healed for beating a boss. You go human. So, like DS3 with the Embering. Yeah, shadows get a little fucky in this game. Not gonna lie. Hmm, strong attack, eh? Oh, I parried the shit out of this guy earlier. Not with this shield, though. This is a medium shield. This is Lothric Knight shield. And I am shit with medium shield parrying, so I'm not gonna do that again. Yeah, fuck you. You're gonna see why I'm not gonna be doing that in about two minutes or so. It's not this guy. I just, I want as much health as possible. So R1 spam. The game seems to suggest you want to do a lot of R1 to R2 mix-ups. But, I don't know. Feels like Dark Souls Bloodborne R1 spam seems better. But I guess stuff like that could work. Depending on like... Well, I was going to say poise break, but there's no poise in this game. I'll get into that in a second. Yeah, so that thing fucked me earlier. The, um... The stupid overhang part we, where we can't see what's going on. So these are our blue-eyed knights. They are the Lothric knights of this game. I love their fucking sound, it's amazing. Yep. Fat roll, baby. I mean, as far as fat rolls go, I think... There's some bosses you want a light roll for, but I think you can get away with fat roll. I think. I don't. Ow, fuck you. I love those sound effects so much. And yeah, the ragdoll's here too. It's an all of them bar two. It's weird, because Bloodborne was going to be DS2. Well, sorry, what am I going to say? Bloodborne was going to be Demon Souls 2. But that shit changed. But at the same time, Dark Souls 2 feels like it takes a lot from Demon Souls in some weird ways. Particularly the music. That'll become very apparent um, when we get to the first proper boss. So they want to teach you how to guard break, but it's a, uh, I think it's better to just do this, because it mentions two-handing increases the uh, stamina damage you deal. Yeah, fuck you, buddy. This game does have a cool feel to it, though. So, that'll lead me to talk about the speed. This game's speed is weird. Also, yeah, um... I love these fucking bricks, look at them go. They're not quite, uh... They're not quite the, uh, Grave Wardens in Carthus, though. When you, uh, when you beat the shit out of the skeleton, you see its spinal columns spin around for, like, infinity. Yeah, this game speed's weird. It's closest to three, but it's got no poise. And before anyone comes at me, I'm gonna explain why it's got no poise. Also, this guy's weird. Yeah, he's uh, very intent on waiting till you have a sec. I don't know, he, he waits quite a bit. So, oh, we'll pick that up. In this game, there is no poise. There is hyper armor, DS3 style. So, you've got to be using a great weapon for that. I don't think hammers get it. I could be wrong, though. But, great axe, great sword, um, great hammers, poise. Or hyper armor. As I said, there's no poise. This shit doesn't matter the armor you're wearing, poise don't exist. So based on that, you can you'll probably see why poise was so broken in Dark Souls 1. Or at least from like a PvP standpoint, it's kind of fucky. PvP it's okay, but there are some very egregious examples when you get towards the end and you can just stand there and tank the four kings. That's, that's some crazy shit. Yeah, nothing there. There's no invisible hollows like Dark Souls 2, so, you know, don't get too excited. Eh, uh, let's ignore him. No, let's not. You do that, buddy. You're a champ. Alrighty. So, two ways to go. As you can see, I know this is a dead end. Half and grass. Actually, let me just read something. So, small amount recovers some. So, I think it's, I don't know if it's about half, but it's a 
decent amount. Big fan of your work. All right, let's uh, let's get rid of the mail breaker. We're not going to need it. All right. Whew. I'm going to take a big breath. I'm going to calm down. Um, pretty much unlike anything on the channel you've seen thus far between Bloodborne, um, Remake Three, and Zelda. I am probably going to have to shut up and just do this. I'll probably end up talking anyway, but you only get one shot at Vanguard. Anyone who's played this game, yes, you know what I mean. You only get one shot at Vanguard. Don't come at me. Okay. Vanguard's a shit. He's Proto Asylum Demon. He's got some fucking range. Now, best thing to do would be to get out of this, but I don't trust those swings. Um, because... You only get to fight him once at the start of the game. Ah, uh, I know him the least out of any boss in these games. I mean, I've got his timing pretty damn pat now because I've fought him three times yesterday, but... As you can see, yeah, he is Proto Asylum Dem Demon. And fuck, I'm getting a good pattern. Oh, those fandoms are just, uh, just inbuilt. They're not actually other players. Oh shit. That's got some range to it. Oh. Okay, you want to be behind him, but I want to draw him out a little. Yeah, he's got some fucking range. Come on. He's only got like three or four swings, but their timings are all pretty different. It's kind of like Smelter Demon, actually. Except unlike Blue Smelter, he doesn't... doesn't change shit up nearly as much. So, conserving stamina. Very important for this shit. Okay, if we just keep walking, we can walk under that one. Nice. Okay, I'm thinking I might do this, but... Wait, when I get hit? Must have been from his stomp. Oh, shit. I'm dodging in case. I don't trust that for shit. Uh-oh. He, uh... He has some not-quite-lingering hitboxes, but the axe, when it comes around, will still be active. All the hurt frames will still be active. So, you've got to be careful. So it's better to just play very safe and only go for one or two hits. So sometimes, well evidently not, but sometimes it'll feel like that axe will hit you right at the end. When it comes all the way around it won't, but yeah, I'm getting very lucky with this pattern actually. I fucking, I fucking love that stock monster sound, it's amazing. Yeah, you're going to be hearing a lot of the From Software classic sounds in this game. They probably used them way before this back in like Kingsfield and like, uh oh. Yeah, I was going to eat that one. Oh fuck. We gotta get, we gotta, uh oh. Yeah. Yeah, fucking knew it. Oh, 